Hello, and welcome to the overview of the Tracket configuration. In this video, we're going to cover the configuration module in Tracket and some of the more important settings that new systems need to be set up with in order to get the most out of the product. So let's get started. First of all, you're not going to see the configuration option at all inside the product unless you are an administrator. So for this video, I'm going to go ahead and log in as an administrator and I'm going to log into the system administration group. So once I am logged in to track it, I'm going to go over to my menu, click on it, and you'll see the configuration option down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on configuration, and here you see the main application settings for track it. On the left, you'll notice a toolbar that offers different groupings of the various settings. If I click on all, then the screen will show me all the settings available within the Tracket application, and I just have to scroll through each one. If I'm looking for something specific to self-service, for example, I would just click on self-service configuration, and the screen will automatically only show me things that are relevant to self-service. If you're looking for something and you're not sure where it is, you can very easily click the All option to show all, and then use the Find option, which is usually available from Control-F in your browser, to search for something that you're looking for. So for example, if I'm looking for email, I can type email in my find, and notice that the browser is going to highlight any text that has the word email. So you'll notice there are application settings. These are main application-wide settings. There are lookups. These are common lookups like priorities and status and, and work order types, categories they're called now in the new system. In the old system, they were referred to as types. Self-service configuration, we looked at just a moment ago. Form definitions, which has things like form customization and templates, and then your service level agreements, business rules, and the job monitor that monitors all the rules as they run. Notice how some of these areas have green or red indicators. Green areas show configuration settings that are important to your system that have already been configured. Items with a red indicator indicate areas that should be configured that have not been configured yet. So for example, email configuration. If you want your users on your network to be able to send emails to your help desk and have track it automatically read those and turn them into help desk tickets, then you're going to need to set up email configuration. You also need to do this if you want track it to be able to send out notification emails when tickets are created or updated or closed or other events that you specify in your business rules. Product updates is another important area. This will allow you to insert a production license into your product. So if you scroll down, you'll notice no other ones are read here. These are the most important ones to set up. You want to set up your groups, like your administrator group and your help desk group, and any other groups that might be using the product, like your HR group or your facilities group. Then you need to set up your technicians, so your technicians can actually log in and use the system and log tickets or work on tickets. You also want to set up your requesters. These are all your end users on your corporate network, all the people that might contact you for tech support or help. Notice that some of these look like buttons, and some of these look like drop-downs. So for the ones that are buttons, when you click on those, they simply go into a single screen with settings relating to that feature. If you click the Go Back button, you'll go back to the main configuration screen, and you notice if you click on one with a drop-down, you get several options. The drop-down ones have multiple options because there are more configuration settings for that particular item. A few other things to think about besides the colored ones, Directory Importer. This is a handy feature because it allows you to import users and technicians out of your Active Directory so you don't have to manually enter them all. Priorities. Those are important because they are how you categorize your help desk tickets, high, medium, low, critical, ASAP. Categories are also very important because they help you classify the work that comes into your help desk. That's all we have for our overview of configuration. For more videos in this training series, you can visit our documentation site at docs.bmc.com. If you forget where the documentation is, you can always click the help link in the upper right hand corner inside Trackit. Some other useful resources are the Trackit community, where you can talk with other Trackit users and support representatives about how to get the most out of your product. You can reach that site at community.trackit.com. You can also reach our technical support directly by visiting support.trackit.com. And for general product information, you can always visit trackit.com. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful to you.